This is 19A American Amber Ale. That is a toffee, caramel, malty, delicious nose. That's hit me straight off the glass. Now, the American Amber Ale, one of my favorite styles. One of the first beers I ever entered into a comp to give me a medal as well. It's a hoppy, moderate strength American craft beer with caramelly malty flavor. Balance can vary, fairly malty, others being aggressively hoppy. Hoppy and bitter versions should not have clashing flavors with caramel malt profile. Now this is a caramel malt profile. This is lovely, look at that. Now this is also bottle conditioned. I don't know if you can see, look at that, that craft beer swirl and that head, that lovely luscious cappuccino foam head. Oh, this is another one of the Viking Thick Dicks beers. Look, and look, look, I've poured like from that bottle, right, that, that uh, lovely swing top Grolsch bottle. This is as clear as the day is long. What a lovely, delicious, dark copper coloured, dark copper to, you know, reddy brown coloured beer. Um, just ticking every single box that you want. Now, you want, you want malt, you want caramel. This has almost got like red skinny cheesecake sweetness from the, from the carameliness. Oh, the body's lovely. The carbonation is bang on. It's got hop character, but there's no hop, like all the hop is getting consumed by the lovely malt that's in there. Um, and that is such a good thing. We got enough beers that are absolute hop bombs, you know? This is, this amber here, um, I'm pleasantly surprised as well, by the way, because Luke always makes a wicked beer, but um, this this is one of the fucking best beers he's ever made, without, without a word of a lie. I haven't tasted this one yet, so I was, um, I was expecting a good beer, but I wasn't expecting this. This has absolutely blown me away. Oh my God. There's layers of malt in there. You, there is like this biscuitiness that I'm, I'm guessing is used in Munich. I'll check in a second for you. But the, the, <clears throat> I'm guessing a couple of caramel malts, maybe even a cara red or something like that. Uh, base malt, oh, I've got no idea, but it's, um, this, this is exactly what you want out of an American air, but you don't want it to encroach into red IPA territory with the body being super thick and, you know, overly hot. And you don't want it to fall back into, you know, American parallel territory where there's no sweetness and the, you know, bitterness can come through. This is, this is that combination of the red IPA and the American parallel and meeting in the middle to this lovely amber, amber beer where there's, there's malt, there's caramel, there's toffee, there's biscuit. Um, not the biscuit start dog back, but it's still in here. This is, is that caramelly sweetness that he's got going on with this one. Um, with, with hot flavor and aroma, but without taking the piss about it, you know? So, Jesus, look, you've t ticked a box with this one. I'm gonna look up his recipe for you or Hopefully I've got it saved straight away because otherwise it's going to take me forever to find it. Um, what else do we need to talk about while I'm doing that? Because this is absolutely knocked my socks off. Uh, the bit, the bitterness in this is is perfectly uh, balanced by the malt. The, the, it has got a bitterness in there. I'd say around the 30 to 40 IBU mark, but there's nothing harsh about it. This is an amber that you could nail a six pack of. Absolutely no dramas. Like, if you're, you're sitting watching the footy, they're gone. There, there, is, there is no chance of those surviving an afternoon at the footy, a six pack anyway. Um, <clears throat> before I get to the recipe and stuff, okay, I'll keep going through our list of ticks and crosses. Keep on tap, yes please. I want this on tap every the fuck day. This, this is um, gentle enough. Of, a, of an amber or a dark beer that you could have this in, in summer um, on a 40 degree plus day. Um, but, you know, if you let this sit and warm up, because I've got, a, you know, three degrees, two degrees in my fridge at the moment, so popping that, having this is, um, you know, it's pretty cold. If you you, you had this on, a, on, a, on a, a, you know, cold night, a couple of long necks, you let them warm up in the glass a bit, yeah, boy. Um, 
that, that, that on the aroma, like as soon as you put your nose in there, it's this caramel sweetness that just, it's up and in. You don't even get a chance to, to, to avoid it. And that's that's the best part about that. that it, wow. <laughs> I'm uh, uh, loving that one. So American Amber, here's his recipe. So we have some American Ale Malt, some Gladfield American Ale, some American Vienna, Munich, Caramel Munich, and Dark Crystal Malt, uh, New Zealand. I don't know what I said that was in there but, or, or what I thought might be in there, but that's what's in there. Our hot bill is Chinook, Cascade, Centennial, and Citra. Th that's a lot of, and I'm just having a quick look. I'll put the recipe up there for you anyway. For the amount of hop that he's got in there, that's not really coming through a lot. Um, not saying that he doesn't need that, because this recipe is, is perfect, but the, the malts have got you covered on this one, mate. I wouldn't worry wouldn't worry so bad about that, you know, any dry hopping and stuff like that. You, you know, 25 gram dry hopper, citra, is that coming through? That's bottle condition that's been sitting there for two months, so you've lost it anyway. Forget that, save you money, I'd say. And we're finishing it off with uh, some US West Coast Mangrove Jack Dry East M44. I use that a lot. I make a lot of American beer, um, not not for this uh, BJC the challenge, just for my drink at the moment. Uh, that that Mangrove Jack West Coast style yeast is a uh, lemon juice. Um, ABV, IBU, and SRM. That's what I was trying to get for you and I did, got distracted by the uh, deliciousness of this. Um, for style, we've got the ABV is 5.5, which is just banging the middle uh, of this one. The, uh, the a, IBU is 35. I can't remember what I said now earlier. But 35 is what, what we're sitting at here. IBU range is 25 to 40, so it's on the higher end for an amber, but you couldn't even tell. Uh, the SRM is a 13. Again, oh, look, I'm not good with the SRMs. I couldn't look at anything and tell you what the SRM is, but it says it's 13, and it says it's bang on for style. Uh, between 10 and 17 SRM we are allowed to have. Um, oh, what's this beer similar to? A red IPA? Um, a red, a dog back red IPA, a red ale, um, uh, a heavy, a heavy pale ale maybe with with a lot of lot of malt, um, but sweet, you know. Um, fucking really good beer, this one. This I'm, I'm excited about this one. So I brewed a couple of ambers myself. Um, uh, I just like them. Uh, one of the, one of the first beers I brewed that won a medal and in competition. Very proud moment for me, even though they don't really matter. Um, but they're, they're a beer that I like, and they're a beer that's not often found, like commercially, um, for where we live in Adelaide, Australia anyway. It's very IPA, you know, if you, if you want an oat cream, fucking forget about it, they're everywhere. But, you know, and a, a lovely American Amber, unless we're getting some from like Cher Brewing Company from New Zealand, I, I don't really know anyone who's doing them. So, uh, this is why we homebrew. To get lovely, uh, again, in the States, and you know, we've got a lot of, lot of followers from America, and hello to all of you, and thank you very much for watching. Um, you might be, might have a better chance getting, a, you know, amber ales over there, but here, we've got nothing. And th this, I don't know why, because this is just a perfect any time of year beer. Luke, great job on this, mate. I'm fucking impressed. I'm going to ring you after this and have a bit of an earful for you, because you've, uh, you've kept these from me. Um, I think we've gone through everything. I don't really care. I'm going to wrap it up now. Anyway, this is the homebrew challenge. We are taking on the homebrew challenge. We are brewing all 120 styles of beer as defined by the BJCP. Sorry, my camera's dying. I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to quicken it up. Um, give us a like, a follow, and a share. And that give this recipe a go yourself. I guarantee if Luke had entered this into competition, he would win. The, the, this would be a metal beer. I've, I've brewed metal metal ambers myself. This is just as good, if not better, uh, than all the, uh, the, all the all the ambers that I've brewed. Um, enjoy enjoy yourselves. Take care of your family and your mothers. And look after your mums because they love you more than you realise. Um, and brew good beer. Try really, you know, brew along with us. Do this BJCB challenge with us. Homebrew challenge. I think we changed it. Changed it back because we're like, oh fuck it. Someone else is doing the homebrew challenge. Look him up. I, I don't know what he's actually called, but he's he's doing them in like two years or some shit. He's, he's banging them out real quick, and we're, we've got no chance. Um, brew every style. Love every style. Learn every style. Get good beer, India. I got to stop doing that because I'm covering myself in 
delicious amber ale. See you next time.